Olympic champions are looking to relieve some stress and find some love or lust in Rio. We've got all the dirty deets on Clever News Feed. So if you're single, looking for someone successful, a little athletic, maybe foreign, buy your ticket to Rio because everyone's on the prowl and they're looking for their match. The games are well underway in Brazil and athletes are not only heating up in the competitions, but also heating up in the bedroom. Ooh, Olympic athletes seem to be looking for something cool for the summer. The Summer Olympics, that is. According to many reports, dating apps like Tinder are being used left and right in Olympic Village and a Tinder spokeswoman said that Tinder usage has skyrocketed to 129% since last weekend and they expect a lot more growth if you know what I mean. This makes a lot of sense for all these shenanigans to be happening. The athletes are all piled up in Olympic Village. How many of them? Well about 10,000 of the world's best athletes are staying in 31 17 story towers right next to to some awesome beaches. Oh, and did I mention they're athletes, so probably very fit and very cute and have some downtime. Also, this doesn't exactly mean everyone is hooking up everywhere in Rio. Some could just be using it to window shop or pass time in between events. And this isn't the first spike in dating app usage at a major sporting event. Past games like the Sochi Winter Olympics and London Olympics also proved good times for apps like Grindr, Tinder, and Hinge. But this isn't the first piece of sexy news to come out of the Olympics. Apparently, when athletes came into Rio, they were greeted with over 450,000 condoms in total in their hotel rooms. And just for reference, that's 42 condoms per athlete. So go for the gold, right? Okay, so all this sexy talk from me, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of the spike in Tinder usage in Olympic Village? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below, or you can follow me on all the social medias at Rude Unicorns to talk about it. And then after that, click over here to check out our verdict in the Kylie and Tyga split or commit debate on the new episode of Debatable. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here on Clever News and be sure to subscribe. I'm your host, Sarah Whittle, and I'll see you next time. For more clever videos, click to the left for YouTuber vs. Viner Fashion on Dirty Laundry and over to the right to check out celebs you didn't know were athletes on Throwback.